Hey everyone, Jeff Lee here from NAB 2015. I am standing in the Canon booth right next to the new Canon C300 Mark II. Now this is the uh, addition to the family that is, sits right between the C300 and the C500. One of the biggest changes, uh, most notable changes coming out of this camera is that this camera will now do 4K XF AVC internal. It's a brand new codec from Canon. We'll let you do 4K up to 120 frames. Uh, you know, with a special kind of slow and fast mode. Uh, conventionally, of course, you could do XF uh, AVC 422 all the way up to 60 frames in conventional shooting. Uh, we'll also do uh, 2K or HD in 10 bits or 12 bits 422 or 444, more importantly. So a lot of the color critical work that we see and a lot of the really beautiful stuff they've shot has been displayed and shot in 444, uh, which can arguably be more important than resolution at times, depending what your project is. So internal to the CFast 2.0 cards, which is really nice. Uh, does have the ability to output Canon 4K RAW as well, up to 30p, to a comparable recorder such as the uh, Convergent Design Odyssey 7 uh, or something along those lines, the Codex, for example. A um, couple of things. It's a brand new sensor, new processing. It's pretty much new from the ground up. I mean, the body shape is pretty similar to the original design, uh, but they've added a lot of new improvements, uh, of which include things like... Uh, dual pixel autofocus, which now cover up to 80% of the viewable image area with a adjustable uh, focus box. So of course this is one of the, uh, this is a 17-120 which won't support dual pixel autofocus, but if you had a traditional EF lens on there, you could absolutely take advantage of that. Speaking of lens mounts, it comes in EF mount natively. You have the option to swap to a PL mount or an EF mount with a lock, much like the C500 had a locking EF mount. This now gives you the option. It does take a trip to the Canon Service Center, but it is available, which is kind of nice. Um, Canon Log 2 has also been introduced. We have a couple of references to the new log curve. Native ISO is now 800. Because of Canon Log 2, you're now able to get about 15 stops dynamic range. Again, Canon is being pretty conservative, but they added about a stop above and two stops below middle gray. So huge improvement across the board. A lot of physical things have changed as well. They've added this new uh, hot chew kind of uh, cheese plate adapter. So now instead of driving this handle into that single screw on top of that cold shoe, you now have the option to attach it directly to the body. Makes for a much more robust mounting system for the viewfinder slash audio module, which has also been updated. Now it is a removable cable from both ends, not just the camera side. It is two separate cables that you can pull on and off. There is an optional audio only accessory. So if you only want to use the new viewfinder, uh, but want to still maintain XLR audio, you don't have to have the big monitor unit attached to it at the same time. You have the option to go back and forth and choose. So again, a lot of new improvements. Uh, this will also do proxy recording to SD cards, brand new 12 volt style BPA batteries. Uh, you know, again, Canon really went kind of um, all out with this camera and the way they designed it. So it has all the, you know, a lot of features that people have been asking for, even minor things which I really like, like these buttons will light up at night, which I think is kind of nice. So we'll be sure to have a lot more information. This camera is due out in a couple of months. Uh, the more we have information, the more we'll share with you guys. So stay tuned for more. That's it for now.